Choose Jesus and salvation, not everlasting destruction. In contemplating the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, one finds a reservoir of profound wisdom. His precepts, far from being a rigid set of rules, emerge as divine prescriptions for the well-being of our souls. Despite their sovereign authority, these commandments are tenderly delivered, akin to the counsel of a devoted friend. The call to enter through the narrow gate, emblematic of Christ, is not an invitation to perform deeds, but an exhortation to embrace faith. Striving to enter this gate is not a mere recommendation. It involves a vigorous endeavor to navigate life's challenges while adhering to the guidance provided by Jesus. Unlike a passive seeker, one who strives actively avoids pitfalls, surmounts obstacles, and follows the teachings of Christ as a reliable compass. This striving is not about achieving salvation through personal efforts, but about a heartfelt commitment to walk in obedience to Christ. The narrow gate, represented by Christ, leads to multifaceted blessings. It serves as a refuge, a sanctuary, for those who have broken the law of God. The gospel of Jesus Christ provides shelter for the repentant, offering protection from the swift pursuit of divine justice. Outside of Christ, the impending wrath remains. Inside, the sword is sheathed, replaced by the enduring mercy and love of God. Furthermore, this gate leads to a profound sense of home. The concept of home evokes sentiments of rest, comfort, and belonging. In embracing Jesus, believers find solace and completeness. Happiness becomes a constant companion, and the Christian's heart becomes a dwelling place for Jesus. The assurance of salvation brings a contentment that surpasses the fleeting joys of the world. Beyond refuge and home, the narrow gate opens into a blessed feast. Although not a physical banquet, it nourishes the mind and soul. Jesus does not merely provide for physical needs, but imparts a deep, enduring satisfaction. The believer, through faith, experiences a joy and gladness that surpass momentary pleasures. The believer's contentment and joy are rooted in the profound meditations on the love, cleansing power, upholding arm, guiding hand, and promised crown of Christ. However, there exists a crucial distinction between those who seek and those who strive. Mere seekers often approach the gate casually, maintaining a level of detachment. Some, hindered by pride, refuse to humble themselves before Christ. The proud heart, unwilling to acknowledge guilt, remains an impediment to genuine faith. Christ demands humility and recognition of one's need for salvation. Additionally, those carrying contraband goods, cherished sins, face a dilemma. The gate of Christ does not accommodate the retention of sin. To be saved, one must relinquish sin and accept salvation from sin. The gate is exclusive, allowing entry only to those who abandon their sins and trust in Christ alone. The urgency to enter the narrow gate is further emphasized by the perilous consequences awaiting those outside. The vivid imagery of outer darkness, weeping, and gnashing of teeth underscores the severity of eternal separation from God. Speculating on eternal punishment is one thing, experiencing it is another. The gravity of the peril should stir caution and propel individuals to seek salvation earnestly. In conclusion, the call to enter through the narrow gate extends beyond seeking. It necessitates active striving. The gate, embodying Christ, promises refuge, home, and a blessed feast. Striving involves navigating life with an unwavering commitment to Christ, abandoning pride, shedding sins, and recognizing the urgency of salvation. The consequences of remaining outside the gate serve as a compelling reason to heed the call and enter today, for tomorrow is uncertain.